Hello and welcome back to Insurance Innovators TV. Great to have you with us. Now let's talk to Tom from Human Life Expectancy. This is going to be a really interesting scientific chat about epigenetics and insurance. First of all, Tom, tell us who you are. Thank you very much, Tom Nodine. I'm founder and CEO of Human Life Expectancy, Inc. Um, I got here after decades of working as both an executive in yep. insurance, I, I led technology strategy and innovation for a major U.S. insurer, yep. and then I also led consulting practices for Booz and Company and KPMG globally. Right. And in those capacities, I worked with all kinds of technologies to revolutionize insurance. Yep. But then, about four years ago, I ran across a technology that has an, a, a potential to revolutionize insurance to such a degree that I said to myself, if I don't found a company to go after <laughs> this, I'll regret it for the rest of my life. And so I did. Yeah. That company is Human Life Expectancy, and the technology is actually epigenetics. Well, first of all, let's defi define it, then we'll talk about how powerful it could be. First of all, what is it? You know, our bodies are even more fantastic than we thought. Yeah. So here's the deal. When we get a disease, when we smoke, when we drink alcohol, yeah, yeah. when we exercise, when we meditate, when we do anything, our bodies go up and down our genome mm -hmm. and turn on and off a whole range of different genes right. to help us cope with the reality of the behaviors and diseases and other things our body faces. And that has two really important implications. One, it means that by reading the epigenome, you can tell what act diseases a person has had or yeah. might have. Yeah. You can tell what behaviors they partake in, in what ways. And it took me all of 30 seconds to think about, wow, insurance companies might want to know this. And they do. And they do. And there's all kinds of things they can do. Most importantly, what they can do is they can help their customers to live longer, healthier lives. And happier lives, because the healthier you are at a, a later age, the happier you effectively will be, certainly physically. Of uh, course. So, that's the principle. I think we're opening up the power now. So, but I guess harnessing that power is also very important. How do we make that happen? We make that happen in a customer-centric way. Okay. In a way that customers want to. So, of course, it has to be driven by what customers want. Mm. Fortunately, the vast majority of customers really do want to live longer, healthier lives. Yeah. And so if we can credibly help them to do that, there's a huge upside in it for them, and mm. there's a huge upside in it for the insurers that help them to do so. Yeah, you are targeting, you are focusing, you know that customer, you can help them even when they don't know they're being helped in a way, yep. um, which is really interesting. I suppose the, and we spoke before we came on today, we spoke about uh, the suspicion that customers might have about our data being used in certain ways. Well, how does that work with epigenetics? Absolutely, the, the quick answer is however a company's customers want it to work. Yeah. At one end of the spectrum, the insurance company never needs to see any results of the epigenetic test yeah. or any of the data from it. Yeah. We, for most of our insurers, we set it up in such a way that they never get the epigenetic data yeah. and that my company never gets the personalized data. So there really is extremely low risk, and of mm. course we have top level security measures. Yeah. But all of that's only relevant if there's something really fun behind yeah. it all, something driving for a good business case. And in fact there is. You know, in insurers can truly help their customers to become more healthy yeah. by monitoring their biological age as a function of a whole range of different interventions. Yeah, yeah. So in short, you know, you might decide that you want to try running a marathon. And so we'd do an epigenetic test beforehand, you'd run the marathon for six months, and then we'd try afterward, we'd say, well, how well did that actually work in either slowing or in some cases even reversing your biological age? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as insurers do this for tens, hundreds, thousands of their customers, they'll get a very precise answer to mm. which interventions actually work best for which people. And, and so people <laughs> who are engaged in their own health, they then get to open up opportunities, I guess. I mean, it's a lifestyle choice. It might even produce, in the right situations and circumstances, might produce a healthier relationship with your insurer. Yep. The, the, the incredible truth is, you know, over three quarters of us today end up dying from yep. things like cancer and yeah, heart yeah. disease and uh, diabetes and others, yeah. all of which are a function of our behaviors. Yeah. Yet we know so little 
around which interventions are actually best, behavioral interventions yeah. are best for which groups of people. Yeah. Insurers are playing an increasingly important role in helping to discover this. They have millions of people globally that want to live longer, healthier lives and yeah. are willing to try different interventions. Yeah. And the epigenetic technology, because the price of the test is going down so much and because the value of the test from the things you can learn from it is going up so much, mm -hmm. not only can you learn diseases, you can learn behaviors, you can learn a whole range yeah. of things yeah, insurers yeah. really want to know. Yeah, so, so I think it's really inevitable. It's going to be a big part, and we're going to be the company that does it. Yeah. Next stop, perception, information. Where can people get more information? A bunch of information. Um, actually, one of the first places to go, we just wrote a book on the topic. You sneaked in a book. I snuck in a book. It's yeah. called Revolutionizing Insurance with Epigenetic Testing. Gotcha. Um, you can find it on Amazon. Yep. Um, you can contact me. I'll send you a copy. And what will that tell us? It'll tell us everything about what is epigenetics, yep. what are the issues within insurance that epigenetics addresses, and then how can insurers benefit from it in yep. terms of greater customer relationships, greater profits, reduced fraud, yep. better process for underwriting, all of those things. Tom, really fascinating. Thank you very much indeed. And if you want to find out more, you know where to go. Thanks very much for watching Insurance Innovators TV, streaming the future of insurance. Tom, thanks for being here. See you soon.